What's up friends? I got a brand new video for you today and this one's pretty fun. So way back when I first started my channel, one of the first videos I came out with was a review on the original DJI Osmo Mobile. And here we are seven years later and DJI reached out and asked if they could sponsor a video to show you guys the new platinum gray version of the Osmo Mobile 6 and then show you guys all the new firmware updates they just came out with because they're pretty sick. So let's check it out. So the Osmo Mobile 6 has been out for a little while now, but they just came out with some new firmware updates, which actually makes this thing amazing. It's got a bunch of new features like Active Track 6.0, and I'm filming on it right now with the iPhone 15 Pro, and you can see what this looks like. This could be the ultimate vlog setup. Little wireless mic, little phone, little gimbal, nice and compact. So you might be asking why you'd even want a gimbal when the stabilization has gotten so good in these phones. And the reality is if you want to get creative shots or cinematic shots like push-ins or pullbacks, you're going to want a gimbal for that because you're not going to be able to achieve that same type of shot handheld. And plus you get a lot more functionality with this gimbal, like tracking and things like that. I'll show you later. But if you're serious about filmmaking, this iPhone 15 Pro with this gimbal is so powerful. You can shoot ProRes log on the phone and I'm going to show you some stuff that I shot later and it's insane what you can get with this setup. So the Osmo Mobile 6 comes with a grip tripod that you screw into the quarter 20 mount in the bottom of the handle. This also acts as a grip extension when folded up. Of course, it has a magnetic quick release clamp to hold your phone in place and it has a super strong magnet that locks it into place to the gimbal. But let's take a moment to appreciate this platinum gray version and how good it looks with the natural titanium iPhone 15 Pro. Now when it comes to controls, it's pretty straightforward. On the front, there's a trigger with a double press. It resets the orientation. On the left, there's a knob that you can use for zooming in and out. Of course, there's a button for switching between vertical and horizontal. Above that's the record button. And above that is the mode button that you can cycle through the different gimbal modes like follow, tilt lock, FPV, and spin shot. One really cool thing I like about this gimbal is the quick launch. So right as soon as you unfold the gimbal and drop your phone in, the gimbal's already on and it'll launch the DJI Mimo app right into the camera so you can get to shooting right away. Another awesome feature of this gimbal is that it also has a built-in extension rod so you can get the camera out a little bit further from you from a higher angle. So if you wanna get more people in the shot, especially if you're vlogging, this is a really nice option. And if you just wanna set it down and use it as a tripod to have that extra extension, you can do that. This will also help with dynamic angles for low to the ground shots as well as high shots above your head. It's also super comfortable to hold and you can even adjust the angle as well. So once you're in the app, you can turn on gesture controls so you can take a shot or record and follow you in frame. So when I talk about functionality, one of the awesome things about this gimbal is the gesture control. So you put your hand out, it's gonna see you. I've got it set up to follow me and track me in frame. One of the updates to Active Track 6.0 is to regain a subject more accurately and smoother than before. So I'm gonna go behind this wall and see if it can find me. And did it find me? I think it did. So it's still tracking me and that's pretty awesome. Especially if you had a bunch of objects in the way or more than one person. And I'll show you that a bit later with a second person, but you got a tiny little robot following you around in frame. And this is pretty awesome. And I think it's doing a great job. What if I go really fast? Oh, it found me no problem. It's still tracking. Good job, little guy. So with these new updates, there's also been more improved subject tracking when it comes to more than one person in frame. And I was kind of skeptical at first because we were both wearing black clothes and I thought for sure they would mix us up. But as you can see, it didn't have a problem tracking me. It always stayed locked on. But there's also been improvements to how quickly it regains the subject after losing it. So when he stands directly in front of me, right as soon as I pop out, it knew it was me and it locked back on. It also has more improved agile tracking with faster moving subjects. So this is great for sports or kids and it'll lock on and stay locked on even with fast and dramatic movements. And as I fall off my longboard here, we're at a full sprint and you can see that it's still locked on to me. Even when I get closer to the phone, it continued to track me. So as I mentioned earlier, this does have a zoom knob and one of the features they added is the ability to track a subject while zooming in and out. And this is a really useful feature if you're gonna try and follow a subject that's gonna be further away from camera and you wanna get some dynamic shots using the zoom. And I was honestly really impressed with how well it stayed locked onto me throughout all of these tests, especially when I turned away from camera and it continued to track the back of my head. Overall, all these updates and improvements to Active Track 6.0 are really impressive. And I know that DJI already has good tracking from using their drones, but I've never seen seen it do face detection like this. 
So I've been showing the DJI Mimo app and obviously you need it for all the functionality with the gimbal. And if you're more of an advanced shooter, you can actually use full manual controls in that app, which is awesome. But if you wanna take it a step further with the iPhone 15 Pro and 15 Pro Max, you can now shoot ProRes log video and that's insane high resolution, high quality video. And pair with the Osmo Mobile 6, you can get some amazing results. And uh, I was on a portrait shoot and I did a little portrait video in that setup and I wanna show you guys how that looked because it turned out awesome. So let's talk about the app because there's a lot of cool stuff in here for beginners. So basically they have something called shot guides, which will help you determine the scene and how to shoot it. They have tons of tutorials on different scenarios. So if you're trying to tell a story and you don't know how to get the proper shots to tell those stories, they have full on examples and different scenarios, which is really cool. They also have something called a one touch AI editor. And I probably won't use this very often, but I think it's worth checking out. I shot a bunch of random clips of my Honda element in the parking garage and let's just see what it can do. So I don't know what my expectations are right now, but we're gonna launch the AI editor. In here, you select your clips. So I just filmed a bunch of random stuff. So let's see what we get here. I'm gonna add this, 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 maybe some of that, some of that. I don't know what's gonna happen. I hope it turns out cool. All right, we're gonna add 12 clips. So we're done. Go add. It's already launched. It's at a color grade. Oh, that's not where I'd start that clip. I mean, it's pretty cool. There's certain spots where they need to be trimmed. And I wonder if you can go in and actually trim the clips. So that last clip, uh, you've got filters, colors, end card, clip, change. Oh, you can change the direction. It's adding a color grade, that's pretty dope. I just don't like the timing of certain shots because they need to be trimmed. But I mean, if you just shot a bunch of random clips and you don't like editing and you wanted to pump out a quick shot, <laughs> I mean, it's something you could do with this, it's pretty cool. Anyway, I think that's all I wanted to cover on this gimbal. Oh, one last thing, I really like the magnetic phone mount, it's really cool, but I also love that it arches up over the buttons so it doesn't press them down. I know a lot of phone mounts, unfortunately, when you slide it around will end up pressing the buttons down, taking a screenshot, shutting your phone off. And this is just a nice little attention to detail where it arches up over the buttons and doesn't hit it. And yeah, if you're thinking about picking up this gimbal, I'll have links in the description where you can find it. Once again, thanks for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you dislike this video, give it a thumbs down twice. Don't forget to hit that notification bell and I'll see you guys in the next one.